What's up everybody? This is Jared from JaredsDesign.com um, and today I wanted to show you how to create these nice looking ribbons in Adobe Illustrator. Um, I was looking the other day for a ribbon that went backwards so I could put an object in front of it, a logo, and um, couldn't seem to find a tutorial or anything so I thought I'd make one. Um, and of course it, this was a variation of the same kind of ribbon. So let's go ahead and get started. Go to File, New, and we're going to set it up at 640 by 480. Click OK. And the first thing I want you to do is go to View and Show Grid, and then View Snap to Grid. And that will just kind of make it easier on us to uh, create this ribbon. So let me hold the space bar and get this straight here. All right. Um, so let's get the rectangle tool and we're going to start off by making uh, a rectangle <laughs> so that if this is one square we're going to make two everything's going to be based on that size um, so let's get the pen tool and we're going to go to the add anchor tool so if you if you have the pen tool on there just click and hold to get to the add anchor point tool and hold option or alt and scroll in with the mouse wheel if you have one to uh, look a little bit closer at it want to click this point right here in the middle and to double check that it's directly in the middle it's one line two three four and then one two three four yep that's it so let's click on this make sure this is blue and see those are just the outline uh, that's how you know which point you're currently on so that one's blue now so let me click on that one again all right, we're going to take the right arrow on your keyboard and click it four times. So one, two, three, four. And that is the side of the ribbon. And so we're going to um, <clears throat> let me show you the color. Sorry, let me show you the color of the stroke. Um, let me paste this in. It's a uh, 62A3AD, um, in case you couldn't see it. Um, of course you can pause the video to go back and see that if that was too quick and zoom back out a little bit and then we're gonna do a gradient for the fill so let's click on the fill down here actually click on it up here and uh, I usually click on the first gradient there's these three to choose from I'll click on the first one it's the white to black gradient and go up to your gradient box if you don't see your gradient window up here you can get a window and gradient and that will show it so let's go to our first slider and we're gonna make that color uh, 119, 198, 212 and that's gonna be the, the same color we're gonna have three sliders let me put this one about right there right around 75 percent and we're gonna have two sliders both the ends are gonna be that same color so if you hold option or alt you can click and drag and that makes a second slider so you're gonna put that one on the other end of the black or of the the other side of the gradient on the other, opposite side of the black um, and then let's double click on the black color and we're gonna make it 126 210 and 225 all right and basically that color is just a little bit lighter shade than the other two colors which makes it kind of look like it's uh, shining a little bit right here and of course the uh, the strokes just a darker shade of it of the same color so you can you can change this to any color you want I just like this this shade of blue um, okay so now now that we have that that's what the sides of the ribbon are gonna be so let's click on it Hit Command or Control C, Command or Control F, depending on if you're Mac or, or Windows, and slide that one over. If you hold Shift, that'll keep it in line. Uh, if you let go, it'll slide around, but if you hold Shift, it'll pop it right back in place. So let's slide it over uh, about right there. And we're going to um, right click on it, click Transform, Reflect and I have the preview box checked on mine um, so I can see that's exactly what we're looking for so click OK and now we're gonna draw the back of the ribbon so let's click right in that point and we're gonna click it just to it's kinda like you're filling in the gap and now once you have that click on 
<clears throat> your selection tool and bump it up four times with the arrow key. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to bump each side of our ribbon over twice. Two to the left with the arrow keys and two to the right with that one. We're going to draw a new shape right here. Start it out like that. And we're going to keep the stroke the same, but the fill is going to be the same color as the stroke. So, oops, let me get that color. I thought I had it. There we go. And so now that's just a solid color. And you want to get the direct selection tool. Grab the left point. You got to click it and make sure, like I said before, that it's blue and the rest of them are white. And you click and drag it till it matches that point down there where the end of that <coughs> shape is. And then click this one and click it again to grab it and move it down. All right, and now let's once again Command or Control C to copy, Command or Control F to paste, and we're going to right click on it and say Transform to Reflect just as we did earlier. Click OK, and there's our shape for the other side. Hold Shift to keep it in line, and uh, don't think it copied the way it's supposed to. Let's try that one more time. I'm not sure what happened there. Uh, I think it missed one of the points when I selected it. I must have had the direct selection tool. So let's try that one more time. Command or Control C, Command or Control F. Let's move that. Yeah, there we go. Right click on it, transform, reflect. Okay, slide that over. And there we go. That's the, uh, the first version of the ribbon I showed you at the beginning of the video. And then if you'll highlight all of that and command or control C and command or control F to just make a duplicate, we're going to pop that down, straight down, uh, right there. And what I did earlier was I tr clicked transform, reflect on that piece and slid it over like that. And then I take that piece and match it up to the edge. Oh, right and right click on it and say oop, arrange, bring to front. That way it's in front of the other piece. And that's how you get that other look. And so if you don't quite like this, if this is a, what you need, you can just right click on that and say reflect. Click OK. Slide it over. Slide that over. And once again, bring that to front. And there you go, two nice looking ribbons with um, good gradients. You can drag these into Photoshop and use them however you want. Or if you just want to use them in Illustrator. Um, if you uh, like the video, be sure and click the like button. Um, let me know if you have any questions in the comment area. Thank you.